The all crucial meet between Home Minister Amit Shah and Tipra Motha Chief Pradyut Dev Barma has just ended. And we have the first reactions coming in from Dev Barma. Listen in. I'm, I'm now joined by Tipra Motha Chief, Mr. Pradyut Dev Barman. Mr. Pradyut Dev Barman, you had a long meeting. Tipra Motha had a long meeting with Union Home Minister Amit Shah, the BJP National President, JP Nadda, Neda Konvina, uh, Dr. Himanta Bishya Sharma, and Tipra Chief Minister Manik Saha. Uh, was it on expected lines? Uh, are you happy at the meeting? I am uh, I'm happy at the beginning that this, uh, it is, uh, is this entire dialogue has started. And uh, we have been assured that an uh, interrogator will be appointed. And the official uh, solution to the uh, indigenous people of Tripura, the constitutional solution will uh, be initiated in the next coming few days for a permanent solution for the indigenous people of uh, did you place any written demands? Did you submit any demands in writing uh, to the my Union demand, Home Minister? Uh, my demand, my demands are already there, which was given earlier. And based upon that, we have uh, agreed to appoint an interrogator to discuss matters in how to ensure that there is a constitutional solution to our problems. Okay, the central government will soon appoint an interlocutor and there will be formal talks between the Tipra Motha and the union government. Is that right? Yes, yes. yes. Uh, the, is there any time frame when these talks are going to start? We are hoping for it to, we have given a time frame that it should be over in the next three months. And we are hopeful that uh, this will uh, happen within the next three months and you will have a time frame. And uh, once the talks uh, end and there is an acceptable solution, I'm using the word acceptable solution, there will obviously be an accord signed between the union government and Tipramota. Yes, yes. Uh, who were the leaders present apart from you uh, during this meeting from your my, party? Vijay Rankhal and all my MLAs were present. All the 13 MLAs were present during this meeting? Yes. So at the end of the day, once again, I'm asking, you are positive about a constitutional solution to, uh, the, to the problem of the Tiprasa people? I am confident that the indigenous people's problem, which has become uh, uh, a focus of all talks across the Northeast, will now have a change because we have remained united, committed, and we have not discussed anything for our personal positions, but for the plight of the 14 lakh people who live in the autonomous council. All right, uh, Mr. Pradut Dev Barman, uh, thank you very much for speaking to me and coming up with this very big news from Tripura. Thank you so much. So there you heard it. Tipra Motha Chief and Royal Scion Pradyut Dev Barma has revealed that the center has agreed to initiate the process to ensure constitutional solution to its demands. Talking to Northeast Life, Editor-in-Chief was Bir Hussain moments after the two-hour long meeting with Union Home Minister Amit Shah, BJP National President JP Nadda and NEDA convener Himanta Biswas Sharma. De Burma informed that the talks to ensure constitutional solution to Tipra Motha's demand will be carried forward by an interlocutor to be appointed by the MHA and the time frame for the talks has been fixed at three months for now. De Burma added that an accord will be signed with the Tipra Motha once an acceptable solution is arrived at. All right, our editor-in-chief, Wazbir Hussain, joins us from the newsroom to give his uh, details, to give more details after talking exclusively to Pradyut Dev Barma, the royal scion there. Well, Wazbir, the crucial meet ends between Pradyut Dev Barma and Amit Shah, and he has revealed quite a more, most of the important points to you when he was uh, having an exclusive conversation with you. Please brief us about it. Uh, yes, uh, Pooja, uh, I just spoke to, as you have heard, I just spoke to Pradyut Dev Barman, who had just come out after a two-hour long meeting uh, with Union Home Minister Amit Shah, J.P. Nadda, the BJP National President, Neda Kanvena, Dr. Himanta Bishra Sharma, and uh, Tripura Chief Minister Manik Saha. And in that meeting from the Tripura Motha side, the Tripura Motha President, Bijoy Rangkhal, was present, uh, Pradyut Dev Barman himself, of course. Apart from that, uh, all the 13 elected MLAs, all the 13 MLAs of Tripura Motha were present in that two hour long meeting. 
Now, uh, Pradut the Burman expressed uh, his confidence that, uh, the, that the Santra is serious about bringing about a constitutional solution to the problem of the Tiprasa people, that is the tribal people of Tripura. And now he said that an interlocutor, during this meeting, the decision has been taken by the Union Ga Home Minister to appoint an interlocutor to carry forward uh, the process of dialogue between the Tipra Motha and the central government. So now this interlocutor will be appointed. And our sources are telling us uh, that A.K. Mishra is likely to be the interlocutor for the dialogue between the central government and the, and, and the Tipra Motha. Now, Pradut Department also revealed that a three-month time frame has been given within which they expect an acceptable solution uh, to the problem of the Tiprasa people. Uh, now, uh, now, obviously, the decks are cleared. Once an acceptable solution is found, the decks are cleared for the Tipramotha to join the Manik Sahaled BJP government uh, in, in Meghalaya. It will be a Tipramotha with 13 MLAs will be siding with the BJP-led government uh, of uh, Manik Sahaled in Tripura. So, but that of course there is a rider to that once a constitutional solution is granted to the Tiprasa people uh, that is acceptable to Tipramotha, only then will the Tipramotha uh, uh, side with the BJP led government and join the government. That is the, exactly the reason why uh, today out of 12 ministers, that is the strength of ministerial strength in the 60 member Tripura assembly, only nine ministers including the chief minister were sworn in. That means three of the ministerial birds have been kept vacant and, and that will be given to the Tipra Motha. That is the understanding. That is what we are gathering. Not his life is gathering that. Of course, Tip, uh, of course, Pradut De Burman would not comment on that. He's silent on that. But that is what our uh, sources were absolutely familiar with this um, with this uh, dialogue between Tipra Motha and the Union government, or for that matter, the BJP top brass are telling Notice Life uh, that these three ministerial birds have been kept reserved for Tipra Motha as and when an accord is signed, as and when an agreement is signed that will give a constitutional status to the tribal people of Tripura, this uh, Tripura Motha will join the Manik Saha government. Now, what we are also gathering is that there is an, uh, there, there has been discussions on what type of autonomy will the tribals of Tripura get. But, uh, but we are understanding, our understanding is that the central government is considering that is also the demand of the Tripura Motha to give financial autonomy as much as possible. There will be political and administrative autonomy. And we are also gathering uh, that is yet to be confirmed, of course, that uh, one or two more tribal seats, a few more tribals, few more assembly seats will be reserved for tribals apart from those in the Tripura Tribal Autonomous District Council. Uh, TTADC now has 20 assembly constituencies, but it could also be possible, of which we don't have a confirmation yet, that a few more uh, constituencies will be reserved for tribals in Tripura. So that is uh, what uh, we are gathering at this point in time. So this is the big breaking story, the meet, a two hour long meeting between the Tipra Motha and the uh, uh, BJP top brass, uh, including Union Home Minister Amit Shah, had just ended. And, 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 uh, and uh, after that, uh, Pradut De Burman has given his first reaction where he said that he is satisfied at the start of the process and he confirmed that an interlocutor is going to be appointed by the central government and that three month time frame has been set for the talks to begin and end with a possible agreement. Now, Basbi, can we say mm -hmm. that finally things are on track as far as Tipra Motha's demands are concerned and that it's a win-win situation for the BJP too? Absolutely, it's it's a win-win situation for both Tipra Motha as well as the BJP. If the tip, if the central government concedes the Tipra Motha's demand for constitutional rights for the tribals of Tripura, it will be a big victory for Tipra Motha. In its debut election, Tipra Motha has won 13 seats. There were a lot of tribal political parties, but they have not been able to exert that kind of pressure on the central government to seriously take the demands of the tribals of Tripura. And it is Tipra Motha, led by Royal Sion Pradut De Burman, who has been able to uh, able to mobilize the tribal people and has emerged as the dominant tribal force in Tripura that has made the center sit up and take notice of the rights and demands of the tribal people of Tripura. So that will be a big victory for the uh, for Tipra Motha. And if you take look at the BJP, BJP already has the numbers, but if 13 more MLAs uh, come and join the, the, the banner of the NDA, uh, that will be another big victory for the BJP as well ahead of 2024 Lok Sabha elections. Puja. Was we also heard Sambit Patra's reaction. He mentioned he didn't um, mention about anything what Pradyut Dev Barma said in the meeting, but he just mentioned that a series of meetings will take place in near future to find out a solution.
What do you have to say on Absolutely. That? that is obvious because uh, that is obvious what uh, Sambit Patra said is uh, uh, nothing uh, uh, extraordinary because uh, that, that is absolutely obvious because once an interlocutor is appointed by the central government, there will be a series of talks before uh, we can hope to have a draft agreement that will have to be ratified by all the leaders and members of the Tipra Mota and only when it will go uh, for the signature, only when the two sides or for that matter the three sides that is the Tripura government included, uh, we'll be signing on the dotted lines, uh, Puja. Now, was we, uh, that the talks <coughs> process is set to begin, we can definitely expect full cooperation from the Tipra Motha to the state government? Well, uh, uh, well, you see, now that the talk process has begun, actually, uh, Tipra Motha, uh, although, although as of today, Tipra Motha is the main opposition party in, in, in Tripura, but that may not be the case a few weeks from now. Uh, but but we expect full cooperation by the Tipra Motha to the uh, to to the administration to the government because uh, Tipra Motha uh, the central government has taken positively to Tipra Motha's demands and the union government has also agreed to hold a uh, formal dialogue formal talks with the Tipra Motha. Therefore, uh, I don't think that Tipra Motha uh, will will be uh, uh, not cooperating with the government. Tipra Motha will definitely be cooperating with the government because that is it's not a state subject. It is up to the central government to come and concede or or. or or uh, accept or reject the demands of the Tipra Mota. Therefore, the Tipra Mota's battle is with the union government. It's up to the union government to accept or reject the Tipra Mota demands. But in all likelihood, the central government has already made up its mind to grant constitutional safeguards to the tribal people or the Tiprasa people in Tripura.